I'm very curious about this, Mallory. Very curious. I don't see why it would be bad. It's just potato. I, I don't I don't think it's gonna be bad. I just think it's something I've never seen before. Uh, we're doing we're doing some eggs. I made myself an egg and cheese sandwich and I said, Do you want one? And Mal said, No, we have some potatoes that we need to eat. And I was like, Okay. She's like, I'll just I'll just have you make a fried egg and put it on the potato. And I was like Okay, interesting. And like on paper, it works fine. You have potatoes with breakfast stuff like all the time, but I've never thought to put a, a egg on a baked potato. But I tried to leave a lot of yolk, so that'll add to it. You might've discovered a new hip breakfast thing now. I don't know. You have to let me know how that is. By the way, hi everyone. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to September. I'm around the Patreon ticker early. Keep you guys on your toes. It is the first of the month, and we always do a shout out for our patrons on the first of the month. Their names are scrolling along the bottom of the screen now. If you'd like to learn more about Patreon and how you can support Mal, myself, and the perks that come along with that, you can visit supportsteven.com or click the link that's in any description of any vlog. I guess technically any vlog past like 20. <laughs> 13 or something. I don't remember when we actually started Patreon. Um, yeah, it is September, which, uh, you know, is always wild. <laughs> I should make a coffee. I'm, I'm going to have a coffee with that. Uh, but um, we're also, I mentioned it yesterday, but we're also having a, uh, a guest today. And our guest is Paul. Paul is going to be joining us for a few days. He's going to be staying with us. Um, Paul was here this year, Mal, right? Um, I don't remember when he was here. Was he here in January? I can't remember. It's hard to remember, well, anything. But I do believe that Paul was here this year. But I could be wrong. It might be. I might be thinking of last year. I'm not entirely sure. Either way... Paul's a great guest. It's always good to have him. So um, he'll be hanging out with us for uh, the next little bit. Don't have any particular plans, but um, that's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll see if, if Paul has anything he wants to do. Last time he was here, which is why I was trying to remember when it was, um, Paul was working on marking off the all of the malls in Raleigh and Durham. It might have been January. I think it was January. We went to the Duke Gardens and it was like nothing. Yeah, I think I think it was the beginning of this year. This year feels long. Yeah. There's just like a lot of things that have happened and it's hard to mentally think through like, ah, yes. <laughs> that was this year because 2024 has been just an interesting beast. But yeah, Paul will be here. Uh, he gets in around five. So we got a few hours. Um, I'm gonna get things cleaned up just a little bit around here. Uh, I am going to be, uh, actually I'm working on the Patreon video today. I'm gonna be getting the Patreon video done before um, Paul gets here. But first I'm gonna eat an egg and cheese, which sounds really good. Um, so I'm super curious, is it? It's fine. It's just it's, delicious, right? I mean, yeah, it's just breakfast stuff. Yeah, I think when I when I think about potatoes for breakfast, they are. And this is such a weird tiny thing, but like they're they're crunchy because they're either hash browns, so they've they've got a crisp on them, or they're home fries, so they're fried in some way. And I think that's maybe the disconnect is that yeah, these are potatoes, but it's a it's a a baked potato, and that's different. But I also think that yolk would complement it well, so. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would put cream, uh, sour cream and, and eggs together, but you would put sour cream and potato. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm happy with my sandwich. Oh, welcome. It's actually really good timing because we sat on the uh, waiting for our gate for quite a while. Mm. Oh, good. So Wonderful. Got outside about a minute before you texted me. Uh, let's drive away from this forsaken place. <laughs> yep. Buddy, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Paul and Amy brought you. You want to 
You want a toy? Don't go too far, you're gonna miss out. <laughs> his first, yeah, his first thought is like, can I have food? Look, this looks like you. It's got spots like you do. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now we are getting, we are getting the scent. Oh, you want this? <laughs> I'm gonna just sit it on your head. Incredible. <laughs> I'll give you some food. Dan joined us and we went and grabbed some dinner quick and then we came back to the house and uh, there's some other folks that are gonna come over and hang out. But it was raining a little bit and Chaz was like, I'll wait for a break in the, in the rain. And then it, it got worse. <laughs> so it's actually really coming down. I'm sure that they'll like still come over, but it might be like <laughs> an extra few minutes. Dan, Dan, uh, Dan stopped by his house for something, so he's gonna drive over, so at least he'll be dry. You doing okay, buddy? You handling the storm? You all right? He's like, eh, I'm doing my best. <laughs> that smells so good. Doesn't it? It smells so very good. good. And this, I didn't realize that you had grown so much basil, Mel. Yeah, the basil plant did really good and um, did the other nothing ones? else on the porch. There's a little bit of mint, not enough to harvest, not like this. And um, there's a little bit of cilantro or oh. parsley, one or the other. Okay. But the basil did good. Are you making uh, juleps or? I don't know. What are we making? Uh, gin, gin and basil's or something. Gin and basil. Gin and basil sounds like it could be real. That famous drink. Gin, gin, oh, gin and mean, Davis. Have you had? Inventor of Garfield. I mean, that would be appropriate. What for Garfield? Yeah. Chaz, Chaz, you met Jim Davis, right? Uh, did I imagine statistically. that? Statistically? Statistically? <laughs> like, didn't yes. you actually meet him? In kindergarten, yes. Okay, yeah, see? We had a, uh, one of the people from my Boy Scout troop, uh, well, Cub Scout troop in kindergarten, Boy Scout troop, worked for Jim Davis Enterprises Incorporated Garfield Conglomerate, and, uh, one of the, on one of the do your work in front of Boy Scouts days, they showed us on their computer uh, tomorrow's Garfield. So oh. we could, you know, tell people we knew what the Garfield was in advance. That was mm -hmm. very fancy. He, uh, the kindergarten visit, I got a uh, two chats, best wishes signed by Jim Davis thing. I threw that away. Oh. So yeah, Chaz knows Jim Davis. <laughs> so like. <laughs> We had a pretty quiet evening, aside from the crazy storms that were going on. There was some wild wind, but um, just a, f a few folks played some board games. I, um, I played Advance Wars with both Paul and Dan. Dan had never played it before. He was familiar with it based on seeing it, but he had never played it, so we played a little of that. And um, one thing I forgot to mention that is important is Mal finished the shower. So she finished caulking the shower yesterday. So the shower is completely redone. As a reminder, cured. it's yeah, it's cured. Uh, as a reminder, um, <laughs> the the caulk had been coming up, like shortly after we moved in and we asked the landlord to fix it and they sent their like personal repair person and they put like new caulk on it and then it came up almost immediately and Mal and I were like 99% sure it's because they just used the wrong kind because you can use stuff that's I guess more waterproof or whatever for bathrooms and it was I don't think it was that 
So we bought the right stuff and now redid everything and um, it looks really nice. So uh, we'll, I guess, try it out next time we get in the shower, but that part is done as well. Um, tomorrow's Labor Day, uh, which is cool because all of my friends with real jobs have off. So we should have the whole gang here um, tomorrow and get a chance to like eat something. We were talking about grilling out, but we weren't sure about the weather. But it looks right now like it's going to be dry. So I think we're probably going to get the grill out and cook some something. But I got to get some sleep because I've already been tired and I definitely stayed up later than I should have tonight. Oops. Thanks for watching. Let's be back tomorrow. Ciao. <laughs>